So nerve compression can happen anywhere in the spine. What results there is the disc itself uh, leaves its normal position between the bones and puts compression on the nerves or the spinal cord. If you have a herniated disc in your cervical spine, you can compress the spinal cord or the nerves. My name is Nader Havella, and I'm a staff physician here at the Neurological Institute at Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi, and part of a group that performs spine surgery here. The anterior cervical disc replacement, or an anterior cervical discectomy infusion, is basically a process whereby we take out the disc that's causing the herniation on the spinal cord or on the nerves. And that's the decompression part. We decompress the spinal cord or the nerve roots. At that point, we basically can put in a disc replacement, so basically a prosthetic device. The pain and the symptoms generally go away fairly quickly. In patients where they have spinal cord compression, things like gait and balance sometimes do take as long as six weeks to three months for resolution. Nowadays, we're making the incision through a much smaller uh, skin incision. Um, the recovery period is faster, so patients are getting up and about and walking around much sooner. Um, and they're generally home within uh, one or two nights at most. The surgery lasts anywhere from one hour um, for one level, two hours for two levels, and three hours for three levels. We make an incision on the front part of their neck. We identify the appropriate disc that's herniated, and we remove it. After we remove the disc, we replace it with a prosthesis, a metal plastic metal device that enables continued motion. Or in certain cases, we would have to put a bone graft in and basically fuse those areas between the disc that was removed. And we basically close it in layers with the muscle and then the skin. We place a soft collar in place and the patient's brought up to the holding area and then to the room. Because it doesn't necessarily involve the lower extremities where we're walking and moving around a little bit more, patients tend to have a faster recovery with an anterior cervical spine surgery. A lot of ways, it's an area that has very many vital structures, and so the surgery has to be done with great care. But fortunately, the risks of surgery are very, very little. They're less than 1%. And injury to the spinal cord or to the nerves is less than 0.1%. It's really important that the patient understand exactly what they're getting into and to understand both the benefits of having the surgery, which is the relief of pain, but also some of those risks that we discussed. From a historical perspective, patients are up and about much quicker and they find relief much faster.